So is there any aha moments that you'd like to share with us? The most important thing I learned today is just how important it, and how underestimated the role of sugar is, especially in like foods such as cake. Um, the cake that was made without sugar was uh, was really awful. Not just the taste, but the texture. I think my biggest aha moment was um, when we were talking about removing sugar from a recipe and how while the overall calories in the recipe might be less per portion or for a certain serving size, it's actually increased because the flour and the fat are actually contributing more calories. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the takeaway message for me was when you look for products that have less sugar in them or no sugar in them, that you actually might be getting something that has other ingredients you don't want and the same calories. Sugar is just beautiful. You can't really take it away, especially in something you like cake. You can't, you can't. So that's probably what I learned. Mm -hmm. I don't ever really bake without sugar, so that was a big component that I don't want to bake without <laughs> sugar. Mm -hmm. Now you there know. we have it. Well, the more you know, friends, the more you know. And so learning about the differences between uh, the moisture content in brown and white sugar and how that affects the softness of things like cookies, um, I think it's going to go a long way into helping me make my own recipes when you know kind of what the bases are to start with. Uh, differentiating between brown sugar and white sugar and how brown sugar, because of the molasses component of it, um, lets off a little extra moisture. So when you really want a crunchy cookie, you're better to cook with white sugar and where you want a, a softer cookie use brown sugar. There's no reason to be afraid of it, it's just kind of going back to the basics and learning balance once again and um, I think that there's a lot of potential for people um, to educate and to learn uh, how to use it as part of a balanced diet. Uh, well just in terms of the event I thought uh, Laura and Claire were absolutely amazing. I, they are human encyclopedias <laughs> on the culinary front and the scientific front so a lot of information uh, to absorb about sugar. All the different properties what sugar adds to all the different culinary applications because I'm a chef and so to me I think that was really fascinating. Well, I don't usually make ice cream, so I was really surprised that sugar reduced the temperature and uh, affected mm -hmm. the texture of it. So now I'm going to try some ice cream. <laughs> uh, for me, I think it was uh, the percentage of uh, Cana like, the amount of sugar that Canadians consume. Um, I, I thought uh, from all the papers and news reports that you hear all the time that uh, sugar is this big uh, demon in everyone's, uh, I guess, overconsumption, that uh, to hear that we only consume 11%. Mm -hmm. uh, that was surprising to me, or at least our diet is only comprised of 11% sugar. Um, I would have thought it was a lot higher. Yeah. Uh, and to hear that that was a statistic from 2004 uh, and that more detailed information is going to come out soon and that's expected to be lower, uh, I guess we're doing okay in terms of our uh, of what we're doing in management of a consumption of sugar intake, but also, um, I, I guess, with health and nutrition being uh, in the forefront of everyone's mind, uh, how sugar could still be um, part of the natural diet, I guess. The uh, difference that sugar makes in texture like the, how it contributes to texture in the cakes mm -hmm. particularly like I, I tasted them a few times because that's what I do and I really noticed a big difference in yeah. the, the moisture the height of the cake and uh, the flavor of course well I'd rather have something I'd rather have a tiny amount of yeah. something with real sugar that's delicious than have something that's filled with chemicals and additives that are trying to mimic sugar because then and have a big portion of it because then you're just upping your chemical intake mm -hmm. I just rather have the real thing yeah. <laughs>